or actually we have an um, EBIT uh, profitability of about 10%, which is a quite good number in the postal world. And we are reliable and stable in our dividend payment. I think we offer one of the highest dividend payments in the market. I think the first three quarters of 2017 uh, show a clear uh, continuation of uh, the development of the last years. Uh, we had uh, a slight revenue growth, we had a good uh, growth in profitability, we have 3.3 plus in EBIT wise. And um, I think uh, the first three quarters uh, show uh, what we stand for, a clear and uh, reliable position in your portfolio when it comes uh, to a good profitability and hopefully at the end of the year a good dividend uh, track. The um, developments we have been facing in the first three quarters are the developments we are facing since years. It's the consequences of di digitalization it's on one hand the decline in the mail volume, the addressed mail volume um, um, dropped by 5% in the first three quarters. But on the other side, we have a growing e-commerce business. And so our parcel volume increased by a double digit number. So it's a quite mixed picture, but the picture we are used to and the picture we um, handle quite well over the last years. The um, experience of our receiver customers is very, very important for our sender customers. Postal business, mail business, but especially parcel business is a typical B2C business. And the senders look very closely on the customer experience of the on the receiver side. And the customer experience uh, is made by a good delivery quality at the first uh, attempt of uh, delivery and if uh, the customer is not at home or is uh, not uh, reachable, then it comes to self-service drop-off or pick-up possibilities. And uh, this has been built up over the last years and this is very, very important uh, in order to get a 100% uh, uh, satisfaction at the customer, at the receiver side. We are uh, investing uh, an amount of about 100 million year by year in our infrastructure in Austria. On top of that, we are investing in, in other countries, but 70 to 100 million uh, are invested into the infrastructure, which is the sorting infrastructure, but also the receiving infrastructure, the shop infrastructure. We have been uh, restructuring our whole uh, shop world in the last years and we have been also increasing our footprint. So we are today, we have a bigger footprint and we have a better footprint. Yeah, our capital marketing, uh, market positioning is founded on first a reliable and stable, stable business model with a high profitability, or actually we have an um, EBIT uh, profitability of about 10%, which is a quite good number in the postal world. And we are reliable and stable in our dividend payment. I think we offer one of the highest dividend payments in the market. Okay. Uh, the forecast for uh, the near and the midterm future of Austrian Post uh, is uh, that we hope that we can continue our track record. We have had a quite uh, positive development in terms of revenue despite the decline in our core business, the mail business, but we could compensate by other businesses, by the parcel business, also international parcel business and other things. So first uh, can continuation of this positive uh, development in terms of revenue, but also in terms of profitability. We have been increasing the, the EBIT uh, profitability uh, up to 10% now. I think this is a quite good number in the postal world. So our target is to be sustainable, and, and, and predictable. And sustainability, predictability has something to do with openness, with transparency. And if you look uh, uh, to our new uh, working environment, uh, so I think uh, this shows everything we aim to be, we want to be. This is open, transparent, uh, transparent predictable. Our promises have been delivered in the past. I hope we can continue that track record and this is our um, expectation, this is our ambition level. Thank you.